clipper circuits. Now in this example, we have a combination of uh, convolution clipper and uh, power supply and resistances are there and we have drivers D1 and D2. So then the question is, find out the output waveform when input is uh, Vs is equal to 10 sin omega. That means this is a sinusoidal waveform and the peak to peak voltage, input peak to peak voltage is minus, uh, 10 to plus 10 to minus 10. So this is plus 10 volts and this is minus 10 volts. That is peak to peak voltage in that. And we have to find out how the output waveform will look like. So for this we need to see when the diode D1 gets conducting when the diode D2 is getting conducting. So if you observe the voltage here clearly, so here for the D1, at negative uh, terminal, we have 5 volts voltage source. So at positive terminal, we should apply more than 5 volts. So here, when it comes to D1, when your Vs is greater than 5 volts, then, then only this diode gets forward biased. So then only D1 gets forward biased. And here, when you are finding the output, suppose if you consider when D1 is for, when, when D1 is getting forward biased, if you consider D1 gets forward biased, so here this output voltage is the voltage across this 10 kilo ohms as well as this 5 volts. In this, in the other case, we are not having any resistance, but here we are having resistance. So first we need to find out the voltage at this point. So here, let us consider only when the diode D1 gets forward biased. Observe. When your input is more than 5 volts, diode D1 gets forward biased. In the case of D2, so here we are having minus 4 volts. If you apply more than 5 volts, even if you apply more than 5 volts, D2 is also in the reverse bias case only. Because at positive potential, at positive terminal we have minus 4. So at negative terminal you should apply less than minus 4. But here you are applying positive voltage only from Vs. So D2 will be obviously in the reverse bias case only. So here D2 will be in the reverse bias. Now, we need to let us find out the output voltage in this case. So, if you draw the equivalent circuit for this, so this is the Vs you are getting, and this is the 10 kilo ohms, another 10 kilo ohms, diode D1 gets forward biased, and we are having a voltage source here. We are having a voltage source. So, this is Vs, this is 10 kilo ohms, this is another 10 kilo ohms, diode is short circuited, this is 5 volts. Now, if you take a loop equation here, like this. So the current I will be equal to, this will be Vs minus 5 divided by 20 kilo ohms. If you consider the current in a milliamp I can uh, remove this kilo ohms. So here uh, we know we got this current here because when you take a loop equation Vs I into, uh, I into 10 kilo ohms, this is I into 10 kilo ohms minus 5. Actually if you draw the, I am writing the equation directly. Vs minus 5 divided by 20. Now, if you consider, if you consider, we need to find out output voltage at this point, so V0. So here this V0 is equal to, so this is 10 kilo ohms into I plus 5 volts. This is the V0 we need to have, we need to get. So here, 10 kilo ohms already means this is 20, so we can write Vs minus 5 divided by Vs minus 5 divided by 2 because this 20 and 10 will be cancelled, 2 times plus 5. So when you consider, when you apply for this one, so Vs by 2, Vs by 2, and this is minus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2, so we get plus 2.5 at this place. So V0 is equal to Vs by 2 plus 2.5. So here Vs is, this is supply voltage. So when you take more than this, when you take, when input is more than 5, so this output will vary according to this equation. Now at 5 volts, when V0 is equal to 5, so this will be 5 by 2 plus 5, 2.5, this will be anyhow 5 only, so at this point this is 5. So but when it, when it comes to peak, so when Vs is equal to peak voltage that is plus 10, plus 10 volts, so then V0 will be equal to, then V0 will be equal to 10 by 2 plus 2.5, so that implies 7.5 volts. So when it comes to here, it reaches only 7.5. So this is plus 7.5 volts, you can answer. The output reaches at this point. Again, when your input comes to 5, it will come back here. So during this, it will have a sinusoid only, but this will look like input, but it 
will be less than, the peak value is less than input. And when you consider our case, so when input is less than 5 volts, when VS is less than 5 volts, less than 5 volts, so here this D1 will be in the reverse bias case only. When the D1 is reverse bias, so here uh, uh, again when it comes to D2, D2 gets forward bias only in the case when you have less than minus 4 here. So when you have less than minus 4, that means in between minus 4 to 5 volts, in between minus 4 to 5 volts, both D1 and D2 will be in the reverse bias only. Because here uh, when the input is more than 4 volts, because here this voltage should be less than 4, then only it gets forward bias. But I am taking input is more than 4 volts. During this case, diode D1 will be in the reverse bias case only as well as diode D2 is also in the reverse bias only. Both are reverse bias. Diode D1 and D2, both will get reverse bias. When both are getting reverse bias, the output voltage V0 is equal to same as Vs. Because both are reverse bias, the order of output voltage you get 18 percent. And the third case is, the last case is, when, you, the, when the diode D2 gets power bias, in that case, so here if you take, when the Vs is less than minus 4, less than minus 4 volts, at this point, this is minus 4, but this is less than minus 4, so D2 gets power bias. So current will, current will pass in this direction, D2 gets power bias. So diode D2 will be in the forward bias condition, as well as diode D1 will be in the reverse bias condition. There D1 is in reverse bias condition. So when it gets power bias, the V0 will be equal to minus 4 only. So here, in this case, V0 is equal to minus 4 volts. So totally the equations we have are, so in the first case, when input is greater than 5 volts, this is the one case, the output equation is Vs by 2 plus 2.5. This is the output equation when input is more than 5. When input is less than minus 4, directly output is minus 4 volts. Other in between minus 4 and 5, output is same as the Vs. So from these three conditions, we can draw the output waveform. So when input is more than 5, it follows the input, but with this equation, Vs by 2 plus 2.5. And in between minus 4 to 2 plus 5, it follows the input. So up to this point, it follows the input. So it follows the input. When you are going below minus 4, when input is less than minus 4, the output is equal, output is clipped to minus 4. So here it will be clipped to minus 4. Again it follows the input. Again during this period, it follows when input is more than 5 volts, it follows this equation, Vs by 2 plus 2.5. So it follows input with less peak value. Again it follows the input here. Again it is clipped to minus 5. So this is how the output waveform output wave will look like. For this, because of this resistance. Normally, when you don't consider this resistance, we will get a clip to voltage here. It is directly clipped to less 5. But when you consider the resistance here, so we have to calculate the voltage drop across the resistance. That's why we, uh, we followed this method. This is the solution for this problem.